our second block in our Quilt of Memories um, in conjunction with the Irish Country Living magazine. Um, if you've tuned in today, you've probably picked up a, a copy of the magazine that comes with the Irish Farmers Journal. And in that magazine, you'll see um, that I have a diagram um, with the column on, on the Quilt of Memories. And um, the diagram will show two um, little templates. One is a fabric template. B and the other one is our paper template A. So I would need you to cut out the paper template, trace it onto a piece of A4 size uh, paper uh, set nine times and then we'll cut that out and just lay them to one side. Then we're going to cut out the fabric template which is the bigger one, cut that out of the paper and we're going to use this to cut our fabric. So um, just lay our paper templates to one side so for demonstration, I'm using um, a white background and I'm going to use nice brightly colored fabric so you can see on the uh, film exactly what I'm doing. So we're going to lay our fabric down, right side down, and then just take our fabric template and lay that um, in the center. And we're going to draw around that with a pencil. So here we go. This is a fine big um, uh, shape compared to last week we were working our shapes were that little bit smaller. Um, we're working on diamonds um, this week. Um, and when uh, all joined together, when they're all joined together, they form that tumbling block. It's a very um, popular block um, for babies. Um, you can see why, because it looks like a little uh, tumbling blocks. Um, I'm just going to cut this out now. I've drawn all around my fabric template with a pencil and then um, I'm actually cutting it out of the fabric. You don't have to be too particular um, about cutting you know, your fabric at this stage. You are folding it over the template um, so it doesn't have to be exactly right. Let's get rid of that and that's our um, fabric and now I'm going to um, use the paper template. So we're going to cut out nine of these. Um, three of them will make up one little tumbling block and then we'll add all the tumbling blocks together which will make this tower. So cut out this. I'm going to cut out my paper template. Nice, um, as accurate as you possibly can with your paper. Because remember, these are the shapes. These are the ones that we're going to actually sew together. Um, so we want them to fit nice and snugly um, into each other. So this is our, um, I'm just going to cut that a little bit more. I wasn't watching what I was doing there. There we are. Put that to one side. So lay your paper template in the center of your fabric and I'm going to pin that down just to help me um, uh, keep it together really while I'm folding my fabric over my paper. That's it. And now I'm going to take my needle and thread and I'm going to sew all the way around. Take a nice big stitch. You don't need small stitches here. We're just literally tacking our fabric over our paper template. So um, move your way up to the corner and you can feel there with your fingers. Just um, press over the other corner and I'm looking for a nice sharp point at this stage and um, take another big stitch all the way around. Now I'm coming back up to a point again at this stage and I would like to, if possible, have my um, two points facing in opposite directions. By that I mean this little tail end is going this way and I'd like this one to go this way so that when we join our um, shapes together later um, these little uh, tail ends will all fit in behind each other nice and snugly. Um, it just reduces the bulk when we um, applique our tumbling blocks down onto our background fabric. And that's one of our um, diamond shapes made up. I'll remove the pin and you can see 
that's exactly what we're looking for. So now we're going to um, uh, piece three of these together to make one little baby block, one little tumbling block. And to do that, I'm just going to take my background fabric, which is a plain white, and lay it down so you can see um, clearly what we're about. So I like to put um, the dark one on top. I think it gives it more uh, definition. So just lay your um, uh, first diamond shape like this down and then um, I'm going to pick a blue and a pink. Um, I'm going to put the blue um, on this side and the pink on this side and you can actually see the diamond taking shape or the, the tumbling block taking shape there um, and I'm going to sew from um, the right hand side down to the centre and then just continue from the centre um, back out to the left. Um, so pick up your dark one and your one, the blue one I have here, and um, try and make sure that these little tail ends are tucking in behind each other. You see how I have that one there? And I'm going to um, join it like that, and this one is tucking in behind it. Um, it reduces bulk when we're appliquing our uh, tumbling block onto our background fabric later. That's all, really. And uh, if you don't get that um, right, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Just um, let's uh, put our two uh, diamond shapes together. So um, I need my needle and thread and I have a knot at the end of that. So let's just start. I'm going to start at this edge and I'm just going to take um, um, my first stitch in the corner and I'm going to work my way all the way down um, to the next corner. So um, your stitches don't have to be too small. Just um, make sure that, um, we just want to make sure that they're not going to fall apart. <laughs> so. Um, nice medium sized stitch all the way down to the centre. So let's just lay that down. Oops, open it out and lay it down. And you can see there's my top and one side. Um, now I'm going to pick up the other side and I'm going to add that um, just like this. And again, I'm watching these little fellows here. Okay, I'm going to tuck him underneath there and tuck the blue one underneath the pink reduce the bulk. So let's get um, these two pieces joined together. So now I'm working my way up along here, taking my stitches. Okay, I'm just going to flip that, open it out again, and there we have one tumbling block. Now I'm going to sew this side seam down along here. Um, I won't actually do it now, but you know what I mean. Yeah, you know, just attach um, a whip stitch down along there and that will give you one um, tumbling block. And we're going to make two more of those. I have some pieces here. Let's just lay them down again. I'm going to make this one um, this way. I'm going to put my blue um, underneath here like this and my pink one underneath there like that. And I don't think I have any more um, shapes made. But um, this would be one block, and then we're going to put um, the other one down here like this, just like so. And then we put our other tumbling block that side, and that will give us three little baby blocks, which will make up that lovely tower of tumbling blocks. Now, um, the next step um, we need to do is we need to um, iron our block. So I'm going to, to do that now. Heat the iron a little bit, just for a second, and I'm going to press this. I'm going to leave my tacking stitches in before I press, because I want um, to get those lovely uh, crisp edges. I don't want the fabric to move yet. So I will leave my uh, tacking stitches inside, um, to press, making sure that I have those little tail ends all facing in the right direction. They're sweet, aren't they? Gorgeous. One tumbling block. And now um, um, you would make your other three, the other two pieces the same, like so. Um, and then um, take out, we're going to take out our tacking thread now. So the scissors here, just snip it. Use your scissors, pull your threads. Take out your papers. You can use these papers again and again. Don't throw them out. We want to make, you know, lots of blocks like that. Just put those papers away. You can use them another time. Actually, I'm going to applique this one down. 
because I have a full block here, three um, tumbling blocks. So just remove that to one side. And here we go. Now, to applique your tumbling blocks to your background fabric, you need to center it. Um, and in order to do that, I'm going to iron my background fabric. And then I'm going to fold it in half this way. Just fold it in half and lightly press it. Just lightly press it. Like so. Um, open it out and then um, fold it over the other side. Just like this. Press it again. And you can see that that will give you, um, I don't know if, you can, if the camera is picking up this up now, but that will give you a guide. You know, there's a cross there. I can see it quite clearly from here. Um, and um, this will help me lay my uh, uh, tumbling blocks down in the center of my background fabric. So um, when you've that done, then I'm going to pin it down. So let's just pin it. I'm going to pin it each side. Just like this, this will um, um, keep um, the tumbling blocks uh, secure to the background fabric while I slip stitch it down. And then we need um, our needle and thread. And all I'm going to do now, literally, is sew all around the edge. Just um, slip stitch the tumbling blocks to the background fabric. So um, starting from the back. And again, if you want, if you're um, concerned about what color thread to use, it's probably best um, to use a color that is the same as your uh, top, as your top piece, as your applique piece. Literally work your way all around the edge. And when you get to these little pieces that are sticking out, you can clip them away. You might clip half of them away. And then when you get there, to tuck the rest underneath. They just go in nice and handy and uh, make your way down around again all the way down to here and when you get to that stage then cut a little bit away and then tuck it underneath and off you go again all the way around and that's your tumbling blocks thank you very much for joining us i um, hope to catch up with you again next week